Today I want to take a quick look at the patch notes for Diablo Immortal. I'm out of town returning today, so I'm just doing this the old-fashioned way. Let's take a look at what is actually coming to Diablo Immortal in the latest content update. Galvanize your resolve with the Iron Gambit. We have some new cosmetics coming with the new Battle Pass. Kind of like that. Looks like a little bit of a Iron Knight pretty cool looking stuff as you could see we have season 25 of the battle pass coming starting on april 10th the server time will roll back an hour earlier for australia during maintenance and we're going to be seeing this over in the northeast from april 10th that i believe looking at my watch yeah that is tomorrow Let's take a look. Battle Pass, Survivor's Bane updates, Events Center. Let's take a look right here at the cosmetic little video they have for hmm. us. As always, Barbarian and Crusader looking like beasts. Season 25, as always, I'll be picking that one up. Definitely uh, the best buy inside of the game. All right, let's get into some of the new updates that are coming. Survivor's Bane updates. Check this out. We have some extra skilled enhanced. You can confirm, deactivate. Let's see what this is all about. Survivor's Bane will feature some new variations when playing in endless mode. We're introducing a new system where you'll receive a random buff at the start of the match to help you aid you in vanquishing Hellspawn. We're also introducing two new hellishly augmented versions of Survivor's Bane, which greatly increases the overall challenge. Legions increase enemy spawn rate by 100% in experience, earned by 50%. The second stampede increases enemy destiny by 50% and enemy movement speed by 25%. New achievements will be yours to unlock once you've mastered these new modes by crushing demons in Survivor's Bane. Partaking in the modes will also earn you increased rewards, which is very, very nice. Survivor's Bane is probably my favorite of all the game modes that drops inside of the game. It's just a lot of casual fun, so looking forward to any new changes that they always bring to that. Now we have the events calendar rewards aplenty. Event center is going to be looking a little bit different, and as you could see from the bottom row, there are going to be some different rewards that we get, including a frame, some legendary gems, aspirant keys, some normal gems as well. Kind of like how this is. The easier that it's laid out and the easier it is to understand, the better for all players. We're introducing an all-new events center to give you increased rewards for various exploits in Sanctuary on a regular rotating basis. The first cycle will be from the 19th of April through the 21st of May. Play through the limited time events to earn even more rewards. By finishing tasks and conquering the legions of the Burning Hells, you'll earn Seals of Triumph, which will reward you in kind for the sheer number of deeds you can attribute, attribute to your name. To see the full list of eligible events, see the bottom. You can see one legendary gem, normal gems, Tloric pearls, legendary items, a unique avatar frame, and aspirant keys. We have Wild Brawl coming back, which is the Battle Royale mode. Looking forward to seeing that with my Seder. That's going to be from the 12th through the 19th of April. Then we also have Survivor's Bane coming back, as we were just discussing. That's going to be from April 19th through April 26th. Alley of Blood is also going to be returning, which is another PvP mode inside of Diablo Immortal. Looking forward to that one, although I just typically play through it one time. That's from the 19th through the 26th. Then we also... Oh, actually, what do we, do we have some changes over here? Here are some rules of engagement. All characters must be at level 60. The rank of all legendary gear and set gear will be set to 1. Rank of all legendary gems of your character will be set to 10. Bonuses are are also going to be disabled. Resonance, clans, and warbands, normal gems, charms, heliquary bonuses, stances, and paragon specs. All right, same as always. Shady Stock is returning, a new way to get some of those green pieces of gear from the 13th to the 20th of April, and the feature updates. Switch the new magic affix while class change, and this is huge here, guys. They're actually going to allow you to change the new gear that we've been able to get, the eternal gear. It will ch change class with you, so you're not wasting your time farming that material. Legendary items earned from Terror Rifts, Oblivion Pillars, and Hellslayer Bounties with class-specific affixes will update when class changes. 
If you've obtained any of these items with a class-specific affix, your item will shift to a different class-specific affix upon changing to a new class. These are directly tied across classes, and affix on one class will always update to the same affix on a different class. And here is the breakdown of that. If you're a wizard and you change to a barbarian, Ice Armor will change to Whirlwind. If you're a barbarian and you change to Monk, Whirlwind will change to Wave of Light. This is great that we can see what the changes are going to be, as well as that they are going to change. Class change, my friends, is not dead. Battle pa pa Battleground compensation for AFK players. For players that lose a battleground match after a teammate is removed for inactivity or disconnection, we'll, we're compensating the loss of the match with a slight reimbursement of overall points. All right, we got changes from the legendary affixes for necromancers. And did, we do, did they give this for all of them? Actually, let's take a look specifically of what the necromancers are getting changed here. The cooldown of the Corpse Lance Emperor of Worms legendary affix effect has been increased from 3 to 6 seconds. When striking an enemy, they'll only be affected by the immobilizing effect every 6 seconds instead of every 3. A little bit of nerf there on that Necro. Corpse Lance now also reduces the movement speed of any enemies it strikes and immobilizes to prevent any dash skill from any enemy hit by Lance 4 times for 4.8 seconds. And you can see the breakdown of level 1 through 4. Developers note on Necros, considering the cooldown of Corpse Lamps, Lance at level 4 was 3 seconds and stunned players for 2.4, players were essentially able to stun lock their opponents with relative ease. This change in cooldown should allow for a fairer fight. Item stack inventory changes. All right. As you could see, I'm just seeing uh, a revive and then a whole bunch of crests for people right there. Certain items now stack to higher amounts of space in your inventory to save space. The following items now stack further. So what that means is instead of it just being 99, you could stack them up even further. That's because we're running out of space, guys. Aspirant keys from 99 to 9,999 per slot. Crest increase from 99 to 9,999. Upgrade materials, scraps from 9,999 to 99,999. Just a little bit of cleaning up of our bags. Region-specific game additions. Below, we'll find some things that are coming to China, which, as we know, we could sometimes see them also come to the United States and the eastern regions later on. Battlefield optimization. We've optimized the overall underlying program logic of skills and now casting your skills and engaging in overall combat while in-game should be much smoother. This optimization will eventually arrive in all regions, as we just said. A couple of bug fixes will be coming as well, but my friends, I think this is nice. It's going to clear up the space for us in our bags. I think that the class changing and getting our new gear to be able to actually work if we class change is amazing. Having class change be killed because of this would have been pretty, uh, pretty negative things. So now being able to do it in that fashion is going to be great. And the new cosmetic, we can finally look like a knight, all silvered and blinged out. That's the update. We're going to be seeing this coming tomorrow. The countdown is already on inside of the game. I look forward to seeing you in my video tomorrow morning as I go through and take a look at everything that has just dropped inside of Diablo Immortal. Again, guys, out of town. I'll be back tomorrow. Sorry for how this video has been formatted, but you know what? We had to get it out. Appreciate all of you. See you back here in another video.